have a question for you. Do you want to be the best? Or are you content to be like dip and dodge? If you want to be the best, Chinese Blue Stacks guy. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to set up the Chinese Blue Stacks, which is an emulator uh, that we have here in America. However, for whatever reason, the Chinese version is astronomically better in terms of the coding uh, and just the way that it plays. And I understand that it's actually the only emulator that gives us a true 60 FPS for this game. So the video is going to be broken down into four different segments. We're going to have downloading Chinese Blue Stacks, Chinese Blue Stacks settings, World of Kings settings for within the emulator, and then a short section on key bindings, which essentially is going to teach you how to bind your keyboard to the in game buttons for a smoother playing experience. First thing you want to do is open up your Google browser, and I actually just typed in Chinese Blue Stacks, and lo and behold, it's the very first option at the top. So we click it there, and just for reference, it is uh, www.bluestacks.cn. Go ahead and just press on the big green button down in the middle to download BlueStacks. And as soon as it is done downloading, you will just click the button. A prompt will appear, which asks you to press either yes or no. Select yes. And then here we go. Press the big pink button in the middle. This should take about two minutes. After that's done, go ahead and press the button in the middle once more, and it will then begin to launch the emulator. Once the emulator launches, you'll see a brief animation that just sort of initializes and compiles all the information that the emulator needs on its initial launch. And now that that's done initializing, go ahead and X out of this. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up the settings for the emulator itself first. Select the top option and it will bring up the interface for the settings. Uh, let's go ahead and just go straight to the second tab here. And what you're going to want to do is change the top option to 1920 by 1080 and then select the corresponding button. Then go to DPI and change it to 320. After that, in the next tab, this is where you're going to be able to designate the CPU. You can use 2 at 2048, but I use 4 at 4096, uh, just for a little bit more power to make it run a bit smoother. Make sure that it is checked at OpenGL and then select the 1 plus 5 option. That's just going to be uh, which phone it emulates. Skip the next tab, skip the one below that, and on the final tab, you're going to want to select the option that says 1080p, and then go on the very bottom right option for the final option. And when you're done, go ahead and select that button. Once that is done, wait a few seconds, and then go ahead and press this button on the left-hand side, which will relaunch the application. Once it relaunches, the next thing that we're going to do is actually add the World of Kings game to the emulator. And so what you want to do is go back to your browser, and uh, this is Google. You're just going to type in World of Kings APK. And the first option is usually the best. Uh, APKpure.com is a very good website. So uh, click on it. Scroll down to the bottom. You do not want to download the X APK. You want to download the regular APK. So find the latest, most up-to-date APK. Select it. Then you're going to specify where you want the file downloaded. And as soon as it's done downloading, it will be on your desktop there to the left. Uh, now let's add it to the application. So you press the plus button on the emulator itself, and then you navigate to the file that you just downloaded and select open. And there we go. We're downloading World of Kings. As soon as the game is downloaded, we are just about ready to go. Uh, but before that, I want to go ahead and show you how to change the language of the emulator to make it easier to log in. So select the cog wheel here, click on the globe near the middle of the screen, select again the top option, and press the plus sign. Then navigate down to the language that you speak, and in my case of course it's English. Uh, so you select English, I will uh, select United States as well. And then you're going to make it the priority. So you click on the four bars to the right, click and drag it to the top, and that will be the primary language of the emulator now. It's not perfect, and there's still some things that are not in English, uh, but once we're in the game, you'll see where the changes are helpful. So go ahead and launch the application World of Kings. And the first time that you launch it, of course, you're going to have to uh, go through just a small process of downloading the game files and uh, any patch data, if that's available as well. It should take several minutes, but I went ahead and cut and sped up the video so that we didn't have to pluck our eyes out during this process. Select English once all that is done, and then you're going to sign in the traditional way that you sign in. 
and get ready for this the game looks terrible and every time it always crashes the first time that you play the game it always crashes i don't know why it does that but all you have to do is just relaunch it and that actually has never happened to me again uh, so go through the motions log in again get to the point that we were just at and voila we're in game and it looks terrible so let's let's fix that select the four buttons here go to settings graphics and display ensure that fluent is selected and then go to the resolution setting and set it to ultimate as you can see it's already very nice looking uh, enable the high frame bring the characters up to 20 field of view is super high the effect is super high and then bring shadow and ambient down to the very bottom these next settings might not be enabled by default, but please ensure that they are enabled as it will uh, drastically improve the gameplay. And the rest of these down here are just going to be kind of preference. Voice and friends as well, preference. Controls and combat, these are the settings that I use, but you can tweak these uh, however you prefer. And for the next setting, for sound and settings, I just put everything up to 10, and you can actually adjust the volume within the emulator itself. Uh, and then auto combat setting. This again is preference. As you can see, it looks a little better now, and um, you could play the game now, but in order to make it a much smoother and much better playing experience, we're gonna go into key bindings. So in the upper right hand corner, you see a little button uh, that looks like a keyboard. You just press it and it brings you into an interface uh, that you can use to bind your keyboard to the game. Select the cog wheel here as the first option and click and drag it over the direct center of your movement wheel in the game. This will make it so you can move with WASD. Then click anywhere on the screen, Press a button on your keyboard and drag it to the corresponding button that you want that button on the keyboard to activate within the game. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this with all of my abilities here and just kind of make a brief key binding setup here. And once you're done with that, select the left button on the bottom right hand corner and it will bring you back to the main screen. Uh, this little toggle up here to the right will turn off and on the key bindings. And this eye up here actually is supposed to be making the buttons appear on the screen and disappear. For whatever reason, it's not working now. That's okay. And now for the most beautiful part of this emulator. Go up to the upper right hand corner. Click the full screen window. And then you're going to want to bump the mouse to the top of the screen and select this option in the top right hand corner, which will make the game full screen. And as you can see, it is beautiful. I'm walking through this town here and everything is super crisp. It actually feels like I'm playing World of Warcraft, the, the actual full game. And this is a mobile game. So yeah, anyways, I hope that this video was helpful. Now you can move around and play this game in full HD with your mouse and keyboard on your computer. And uh, this is just very comfortable to do while you're at home. And of course, if you have to leave for whatever reason, it's a mobile game so you can just play it on your phone. I will be making many more World of Kings videos in the future, so please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Like the video and share it with your friends. I hope that this was helpful. Enjoy your day.